What's up guys? It's your boy Kittens coming back to you guys with another solo versus squads gameplay. And this one is actually the most damage that I've ever gotten in Apex. It's a really epic game. And you know, this is one of those ones where I got up this morning, got my coffee a brewing, you know, try to get this onto Share Factory, and it turns out that the entire game is just fights. It's a 20 minute long game of just fights. It was literally just rotate into another team, rotate into another team, and it is just there is no cuts that I really wanted to make and this is one of the first ones on the channel that I want to leave completely uncut and you know one of the things I want to talk about is just you know my own skill gains and some of the things that I do for that and I feel like what I want to do in the video is just pop in and out and do little moments where I'm analyzing my micro decisions and just you know basically you know exposing myself a little bit and being like this is what I could have done better because this gameplay was sniffing a 20 bomb it was like that one like one or two decisions away from a solo 20 you know and it's just one of those things that me personally analyzing micro decisions I feel like is really what helps people get that skill gain really fast and you know, it's just one of those things. Generally speaking, uh, like skill levels, how I feel like it kind of works in the game is there's kind of this point where you can actively win a 1v1. You're doing awesome. You can pretty much always get your dude that you're shooting at. And there's kind of the people that you can get the first guy and then you're pretty much always getting the second guy too. But it's like always the third guy. It's like the third guy just pops out of nowhere and it, he just gets you and it's like, oh my gosh, you know. And and kind of where I am now is this moment of like give me my team other guys that are shooting me in the back I'm trying to kill these guys get off me like I just want my points real quick you know kind of like right at that level um, and I'm getting really really close to just tanking two full teams back to back so and I'm just you know really you know happy about that as a person and want to you know share how I've been doing that so quickly so I'm gonna maybe X out of here for a moment and I'll pop back in some some moments where I'm making some big old mistakes Nah, this, this moment's kind of a funny one. I'm, I'm remembering that this gameplay was actually the first game on, and I thought that I was Octane, because I, you know, I usually play a lot of Octane. And, yeah, <laughs> I literally just teleported thinking I was Octane. And, you know, one of the things that uh, I think I did positive, as well as just that little bit of a, like, little gameplay mishap there, was, you know, trying to reposition away from the fights, um, you know, oh, using my, my Loba stick as a looting tool where I don't actually have to, you know, fully stay on the bags. I could have even not even touched that bag. That might have been the better scenario because I could have got more distance faster and started healing faster while still having access to the items. And I don't know if I actually use the Loba stick here or if I just leave. I know there's uh, another fight in a little bit. Oh, actually, there's another fight in a little bit. Okay, I'm gone. Jump drive. Shops open for business. I'm already in the next ring. More time to gather supplies. Mama's got a brand new bag. Recharging shields delivered. Now, this moment is one that I really want to bring up because I feel like a lot of people may be watching that a little bit or like, whoa, he totally just left his Loba stick there and he's a solo. Like, all these other people are going to get the advantage from that. 
one of the reasons the major ones that I use that is something that you're gonna see here is that people love using loba sticks and if you're right next to them you can just walk right over and just blow blow and sometimes you get a free kill it's more or less the same as waiting for someone on a death box but you get to control where the death box is in this scenario I you know usually I have a couple pre-planned spots so you can take advantage of them. this is one of them so I was really happy that it worked out so I hope you guys enjoy that little bit of a you know, that little bit of a thing you can do as Loba. Recharging my shields. Recharging shields. Oh my gosh, so that is a moment that I am super lucky to have survived. You know, console man, like people freaking push. And there's like that little moment where I was able to do 90 and you know, the, the thing that I would want to bring up is that sometimes when you get that solid 60, 70 damage, you just, you don't want to let go of that fight. You want to pound as much damage as you can. And, and sometimes it doesn't allow you to have that moment of repositioning. And there was this moment where once I saw the second person, I really should have prioritized that reposition because me not moving put myself in the position to get shot by more than one player at a time and that's times where you just die in like half a second you're just you're gone off the face of the map so that's one thing that i really need to improve on as a player Now, this is another moment where, you know, what I could have done is reap what I'm actually going to do pretty soon is try to use my Loba stick to get to all of that loot. What was happening was that there's another team in the middle and I realized that they wanted to push as well. And I was just like, you know what? No shields. I'm just going to full send it. I was like, let's just, let's just do it. And, you know, it worked out really well. And once it worked out, I was just in this state of, like, so excited that I didn't think of the option to get off of the loot as quickly as I could to really take advantage of my abilities. And in that little whirlwind of, oh, my gosh, I got him. I have so many kills. And, oh, I got to get out of here. I didn't really position myself in the best place possible. And, you know, it is really hard to prevent that because I'm all excited and like, oh, heck, yeah, I got him. And then, you know, this other team, and I got away from them, too. And. You know, but that's a little thing to, to know to become better at on. Jump drive activated. Recharging my shields. Oof, I've got a minute to dig up something good before the ring closes. I've got 45 seconds. I could probably grab a...
Enemy killed. 30 seconds to be somewhere else. I just keep doing it. I, <laughs> I I literally have my lobe stick. There's like people sniping me on the side and I'm like, oh no no no, I'm totally just gonna stay completely in the open. Like, oh my god. Like <laughs> You know, this is like one of those small moments that I look at and I'm like, if I held this building better, you know, with the lobe stick, I would ha would have had an extra five, ten seconds to shoot at the people across from me. I might have been more aware of this team. There's so many things that could have happened, but you know, just that little decision, it sometimes is super huge, so, yeah. They're shooting at me! Replicator incoming. One thing I want to bring up before I run into this team that will really help you inside of your solo games and I've been doing to actively get more wins inside of my late games, uh, specifically as a solo, is very legitimately disengaging from teams when there's only three other teams on the map because you just don't want to get third partied by all these you know, full health, max gunned out players. And there's also, you know, some of the damage differences and other things that I've, you know, other reasons why. Because if I could have just downed someone, I might have just stayed in this fight. But that little bit of damage right there, I was like, okay, I'm backing away from this fight. I'm going to hope that, you know, someone, you know, flies in on a tower or something like that, rotates from another town into the middle. And it's just a small thing that will really, really help your solo games. You'll see me uh, fight a couple teams, actually, and disengage inside of this little bit. Two squads left. Now to take the loot off their hands. <laughs> Recharging shields. Now 
Now this moment is so huge. This is the moment I just randomly run into another squad. And I know for a fact that there's a second squad right next to us. So what I'm gonna try to do is sandwich this squad as hard as I can. I don't even really care about capitalizing on these kills. What I'm really hoping for is that this team that is in the middle is just gonna sandwich these guys so I can get as many kills as possible and really get both of the teams back to back and get that super sexy, super smooth clip. So it is such a powerful moment to sandwich a squad. And this can only happen if you try to disengage from a squad. It's just one of those things, man. Now, one of the things I want to point out is that I realized that, uh, you know, remembering in my own head state of the game, that I was actually thinking that there were still three full squads left. So the reason I was holding that positioning is I was worried someone was on tower or would be coming from the same town that that team just repositioned from. And in that moment, I realized that there was only two squads left. So even though I was trying to sandwich them and, in, and, and really encourage that third party, I kind of realized, wait, like, there's only two teams. This other team just isn't pushing, so they're, I realized they're holding positioning, and I was like, I need to get my booty moving, because there's only like 20 seconds to get that positioning, and maybe, you know, get there sneakily if, if I can. And you know, so that's, that's what I decided to do. Even though that sandwich was so good, it just, I couldn't capitalize on it, and sometimes it just happens that way. Alright guys, this is probably going to be the last little bit of, you know, advice voice line and whatever. Uh, you know, towards the end, you know, I really just start messing up some shots and things. And I was doing a lot of positive things for positioning, like, I, you know, a little bit of masking my footsteps to try to really position myself well. But, you know, I was just missing some shots and stuff. And I really, I counted up to the jitters. You know, I realized this is going to be a big kill win. I'm like, oh, this is going to my channel. So, you know, one of those things to, you know, think about, to take that breath in, breath out, and relax. And, and that's what I'm doing throughout the game, you know, as those jitters are coming and I'm getting all excited. Just taking that breath in, breathing it out, you know, just trying to relax. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this win. It's been your boy Kittens, and expect to see you Peace. Enemy killed. Jump drive. Cover me, I'm using a Phoenix kit. Ten seconds until the ring closes. I've got to move. Next ring, more time to gather supplies. All squad down, and they left gifts. Just me against another squad. Not so Recharging my shields. You are the Apex Champion.
This is where it ends. Ah!